Christmas, my baby gave to me a pair of Chloe shades and a diamond belly ring on the set. It's Vlogmas Day 25. That's Christmas Day, guys. Merry Christmas. I wish you a wonderful time. Don't forget to remember the reason for the season, which is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Also, to be kind and warm to everyone around you. Take care of yourself as well because you cannot pour from an empty cup. And this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five productive things to do if you're spending Christmas alone or the whole holidays alone due to COVID or whatever the reason may be. I'm sure there are so many people who are in these shoes, to be honest, because of the pandemic and everything that's just been happening in the world the first thing i'll suggest you do is to give away stuff as i said this is a season where we're supposed to be warm and kind to people you might be going through a lot so hopefully someone actually gives out to you but trust me whatever your situation is there's always someone who's going through what look through um, anything you have or just someone who's around you who you can bless with whatever you think they might need that you have and give it out to them but personally at the end of the year normally i'd like to do a giveaway i tend not to call it a christmas giveaway because not everyone is christian so i call it end of year giveaway where i just give gifts to people um who just to make them happy and just to thank them for all the support also this year i'm thinking to put in all the things i sell on my ebay that are still there right now put it on my retro gypsy page which is my shop page and just give it to people really at minimal fee maybe five pounds for postage the uk and stuff like whatever the cost is i'll just give everything else so just think of ways to just be giving and trust me you'll feel happier and not alone this season on the seventh day of christmas my baby gave to me a nice back rub then it massage my feet next i'll say is very related to this giveaway is decluttering like decluttering actually helps you the person who's decluttering so give out your stuff to charity over here in london there's a website website called I collect clothes the uk i'll put the link in the description box so you can easily click it and they can't pick up your stuff so you just pack up things that you know you can use not just trash or clothes um furniture just anything you think if it's too big i don't think you're picking maybe you call like british Health foundation to come and pick up furniture well your items your clothing your accessories whatever you think someone else can actually use you could even be new stuff used stuff just call them they'll give you a date where you put your postcode and stuff and they can't pick it up so try and declutter decluttering also clears your mind your head preparing yourself for a new year you know you need to just let go of some things that are just there because you probably spend some money on them when you're not even using them you're not thinking about them just try and be a minimum the minimalist is someone who gets only things they need and keeps them all these other unnecessary ones you gathered try and give them away and trust me you'll feel good this christmas on the sixth day of christmas my baby gave to me a crap jacket with dirty denim jeans third suggestion is to treat yourself so it could be um physically or mentally physically obviously it would be like a skincare going to the spa just taking lying down you know just chilling taking a walk going to a nice restaurant obviously if you're in tier four zones like the people in london this is impossible but other countries have restaurants open to so go out eat just pamper yourself make yourself feel good also mentally stay away from toxic things if it's something you're watching that's stressing your life stay away from it just treat yourself properly let your head be right if it's people you're discussing with who are not adding value to you or actually even stressing you cut them off your life to the best you can just stay away from things that actually stress you mentally because if your mental state is not on point even your physical state being on point would you won't be generally as productive as you can be if you want to join the gym you want to work out you want to run in the evening do those little things um on this christmas holiday if you're spending it alone just to feel better and be a better person ready for the next for the new year the fifth day of christmas my baby gave to me the point that he wrote for me the fourth suggestion that I'll give is read a book. So when I was trying to compile this list, obviously I was researching and then I just asked my hobby, what would you suggest for someone who's spending Christmas alone? And he was just tired of my question. He was like, hey, did you not read a book? And to be honest, guys, reading books, just read something that would actually um, hit you. You know, something that will get you thinking. I'm sure all through the year you've had so many suggestions of books i don't even write in them sometimes i save mine in my instagram um saved i just write books or my notepad or my google docs i just write books and then go or put them in my wish list on amazon so if you have things like that just get one book i'll give you suggestions in the description box read just immerse yourself into something put yourself in, into another world learn new vocabulary just just immerse yourself in a different space to be honest and that will really help you nigerian i've been telling myself i'll go into nigerian literature very soon because there are lots of amazing nigerian literature and they tell us a lot about our history or just the way things happen around us so if you're that kind of person i'll put some um, links as well in the description box for you to follow so yeah whatever it is fiction documentaries um real life stuff 
just even in learning you know grab a book this period if you're alone and this is actually like the best time to immerse yourself in a story you should get your mind thinking and get every information you get from reading a book the fifth one is binging on christmas movies i'm sure you're already are surrounded by so many types of christmas movies at this time obviously we all have our favorites well i don't have a favorite to be honest because the plots are always just the same so i just keep watching and when i was growing up i wasn't really that movie kind of person to say okay home alone is my favorite love actually is my favorite they're just things i watch and pastime you know with and it just gives you that whole merry feel even when you're not really merry so just take it some time out to watch binge watch um, netflix if you have netflix or if you have data you can also go on youtube watch series watch movies just immerse yourself in the whole glory and joy of christmas just so that your heart will be more open and you feel a bit merry even if you are alone if he only knew what he does to me my man my man my baby this is all the five tips but i'm going to give you a bonus tip for staying this long in the video so the sixth one is thinking about your resolution for the next year if you're someone who makes resolution because i know not everyone likes to make resolutions but people like me i love to have one or two resolutions nothing crazy like out of the way that you know i can't do it could be i would always be punctual i would stop being too selfless you know just little things i'll add to my habits and make me a better person like the kind of things i choose for my resolution so if you're spending christmas time alone this is a good time to to actually align yourself because obviously before you do it's 31st and then you're like okay okay what am i going to do you know it's just a bit too much because the whole um ginger and everything that comes through the new year yeah so just sit down take a pen just think about how this year went what you did wrong what you think you'd have corrected what you wish you had done write these things down because it could be just little habits in that you have it could be unnecessary places you go it could be just unnecessary things you even watch and put in your mind just sit down write them and say okay next year i'm not going to be doing these things i'll it will be my resolution not to do them i'll probably read more i'll do more courses even outline your short-term plans like between now and march what would you like to achieve just little things like that no pressure just make, make them down once you write once you think about something that's the first step writing it down oh my gosh next bold step and then before you know the action has come and then the results if you're not a resolution person as i said not everyone likes to make new year resolutions because some people don't believe in it create a vision board vision boards um you don't have to you don't have to that physical it can be on a pinterest page you just get in pictures okay i would like to achieve this let this picture remind me of this i'd like to achieve this to be honest when it comes to vision boards uh, uh, or like resolutions i don't really think it's something you can gather in one year because as the year goes on so many things are happening so many improvements with so many processes so you tend to add things to your vision board but just tell yourself okay what did i really want to achieve in 2020 did i achieve it how would i you know do better in 2021 or what do i want to go into in 2021 do i want to be more intentional with my instagram do i want to be more intentional with my career am i really on the right career part what am i doing about it okay i mean on the right career part am i developing what should i do to actually make me a better person in this career path oh, that's about it guys this five tips plus the one bonus i hope you have a beautiful time this christmas whatever your situation you trust me you have life when there's life there is hope and things will always be better give yourself a positive outlook when you hear people saying positive positive love attraction they're not just saying it because we want to say when you when you're thinking positively your actions even without your knowledge are aligning in that kind of positive way and before you know the spirits and everything positive is getting attracted to yourself so just for their negative things bad things will always happen but don't dwell on them especially the ones you can't control How I, love him for generosity, my man, my man, my baby. I hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you've gained from me drop a comment because i love to read from you if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button and the bell right beside it because you give you notifications every time I post. If you want me to support your channel, leave it in the comment section. I'll follow you, support you with comments, views, and everything. Also, click the thumb up button if you enjoyed this video. Even if you didn't enjoy it as long as you watched it, just click the thumb up button. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful time this holiday. Bye bye.